Welcome back to XCOM. We've got a promotion for Fry, who's going to get promoted to Major, and now he gets extra health based on what armor he's going to wear. Which is quite a nice little one. And we also have quite a new recruits, as you see. We've got the ability for them to get promoted straight away. But we'll just have a look at Ross Geller, who's gone up to one, so he's got the sprinter ability now. We scan forward a bit, and our research comes back. And then we now have Carapace armor, which is very nice, and it should help us in the fight against the aliens. And we also get uh, another research coming through as well, precision lasers. So now I've got the laser sniper rifle for my squad site sniper, which should make her a lot more deadly, which is nice. And then I wasn't really sure from there, so I just decided to do the heavy lasers, uh, get some lasers for my heavies, because I'm going to take a couple of those out each time, that'd be nice. And then I'll probably work towards... Uh, plasma rifles next, and uh, we go around again, and we get the abduction sites come up. And it was a pretty difficult decision. In the end, uh, I thought I'd go for China because we're going to get the they're pretty panicked, and also we're going to get the support from it as well. And we're kind of lacking on decent support at the moment. I'd really like one with three med kits, so it's pretty essential that I get this captain. So I decided to go for China in the end. And we have a couple of new recruits coming out with our regulars. We've got Jim Halpert from the American version of The Office, which I've been watching recently and really enjoying. And we've also got Brienne of Tarth from Game of Thrones, who has been pretty awesome this, uh, this season of Game of Thrones. So she's going in as well. And we've got our usuals, Phil Dunphy, Jordan Sullivan, uh, we've got Major Fry and Ross Geller as well, and they're ready to go. And as usual, I'll head over to my live commentary now, and I will leave you to that. Hello and welcome back to XCOM. We're here in China to try and kill some aliens. At the moment our objective is to capture an outsider alien, but we can't do that on this mission because they only turn up at the UFO sites. And we're all suited and booted now with our new carapace armor. So it's looking a little better in the fight against the aliens. And this map isn't fantastic. There's a bit of cover if you come down these trucks here, which I'm probably going to do. There's a bit of hard cover behind that van, uh, so we'll creep down that way. Oh, I can see some aliens. Alright. Every now and again this happens, you're sort of one space out, because you can see I think one space more than the aliens can. So I've got to the point where I'm one space out from them, but I can move myself accordingly. So I'm going to leave my sniper here, because I get full cover anyway, and we'll try and get everyone around this truck without being seen by these mutons. Oh, and I've got a shot with my sniper. Which will trigger them. So I'm tempted not to take this, even though it's a very good shot, 85%. I'm going to leave it because I want to trigger them, because I want another turn getting my people around the back of that van. Okay, and because of that, we now get to move around the back of this truck, probably get seen this time. Nope, we managed to get around the back of the truck, that's good. So I can set people in a good position. <clears throat> okay, now this is the move. I've got everyone set up, let's get Fry on the edge of this truck, activate them, and see how this goes down. Enemy in sight. Oh, and we've got floaters up there as well. Oh my god. This is not good. I was not thinking he'd come right next to me. But I got the reaction shot, which is good. So that could make things a little easier. And, God, there's those up there as well. Alright, let's see what our sniper's got. 
I left my sniper back here on purpose because she's going to be out of the action and she could take basically take three shots because I know she's not going to get hit. So what have we got? 75, 55, 55, take the 75. Let's take that. Uh, I won't use my crick so I think I'm going to kill it if I hit it. So let's take a free shot. And one down. Makes it a lot easier. And if Fry can get rid of this guy, which looks like he can, if he doesn't, we're very unlucky. Um, but let's move up to here first. Nope, I can't see through there. But I can stick him on Overwatch, so if anyone runs down the side, that'd be good. Can I get flanked from here? Doesn't doesn't look like it easily. I'm going to get hit shot at by that Muton, but now I've got the uh, Carapace armor, I'm not too worried about it. So we're going to fire twice, just in case. And there we go. Muton down. And now we're going to react with the rest. So let's stick Brianna of Tarth on the edge. She's got that shot, 40%. Probably won't take that, I'll hunker it down. And... Let's see if we can get... Yeah, everything's blocked for him. Probably he's going to have to hunker down, hold our position, maybe move this guy back up and hunker him down, just so he's got a shot up, up there later. So let's say, stick him on Overwatch, just in case. And you as well. And I'll hunker, hunker Brienne of Tarth down. He's going to take the shot against the thingy anyway. Oh, brilliant. More aliens. Wow. I don't think I've fought this many at once before. Uh huh. You're going to flank my sniper by the looks of it. Ah, uh, you see? Just see through there, and every now and again, somebody will pop up and you get a free shot off. And it's not easy for someone to come and get in a good position to hit you as well. So there's that little gap between the cab of the truck and the uh, the back of it as well. So what I'm probably going to do here... We've got a lot of options. Right, this, this, this floater at the back is the problem. And we can just grenade him. Flush him out with grenades. But do we want to grenade, uh, waste grenades this early? have got plenty of other grenades. I think I've got about three others left. So, it could be a it could be a good gamble. I don't want to waste my rocket. So if I can get a grenade off and hit him... Oh, he's just out. But what we're going to do, we're going to do that tactic that I tried before. It works quite well. I'm going to throw the grenade at the car so it'll blow up and then I'll move my sniper back behind the car hunker her down and then if he doesn't move it should blow up or I have another idea this might work, I can't remember if this works or not if I throw a grenade here it's gonna hit him, hurt him and it's gonna blow up the car and do more damage I think so let's give that a go it's a bit of a risky maneuver And the car did. Yes, the car blew up. Brilliant. Yeah, if you hit a car twice with a grenade, it will blow up. If a car's on fire and you hit it again, it blows up. So that worked. That was good. We've got rid of that problem. Wasted two grenades, unfortunately, but you have to take that sometimes. Right, so we got rid of two floaters. Uh, a muton, and we've got a half dead muton over there, this group of sectoids, and this floater here. So let's move this heavy back up here, because he's pretty useless there. I don't want to get him closer for rockets. And if we move. Uh, yeah, we move Brianne up here. So we can get behind some of this hard cover, maybe get a flanking position. We've got to be careful this muton who might come down the back of this van as well. So we'll get across there next turn, but I'll hunker her down just in case she gets flanked. And I'll move him here, so he's ready to do rockets next turn if needed. And what 
else have we got? Fry up here, he's got that shot. We'll keep uh, we'll keep gathering Overwatch there. But we'll take the shot because we've got Geller close by with the med kit just in case. And it's 65. Uh, what happens if we rapid fire? Two 50-50s. Oh, I do like that option. Yeah, let's go for it. Go on, second one. Oh, looks not in today. Alright, I think that's about it. Hunker down Brienne. And is that it? Yes, that's it. See what the aliens are going to do. And look, another one run through. And another one out. Nice. So it's a nice little thing to do, to put, one, put someone just there, just in case. That muton is the the big worry, to be quite honest. I don't know where it is, and it's a pretty deadly unit. Oh, we have a shot with our sniper, 55%. So you might as well. It's even better those chances with a sniper, which is good. Let's go see what's around the back of this truck. We don't want to get flanked from this side. Now, it's only 30%, but we've got that covered now. Uh, and we need to reload, so moving back out of fire and then reload. Ready to rock. So they're going to be hit by one person now, not two. Uh, what else have we got? Right, let's take our sniper's shot. Oh, we moved out of there now. That wasn't probably the best move. So I'll hunker down with Brienne. And we'll just stick everyone else in Overwatch. Because they're a bit far out, we can't take any decent shots. Go on, run out you little bugger and let's shoot you. Oh, it's not moving. Oh god, the cab of the truck's on fire, we better move out of the way of that first. So with the fire on the truck, the cab will explode, but the back of the truck won't. So we'll just move people out far enough not to get hit by the explosion from the cab of the truck. And that's alright with that. And Brianna's still got that really bad shot. But as long as we don't get flanked, we can see all the way around here, we won't get flanked, that's good. So we're just going to hunker her down there, just to keep an eye on things. Stick everyone else in Overwatch. Okay. We can see the muton. And that's a sixty percent. Hmm, it's not a great chance, to be quite honest. So what we're gonna do. Right, we're gonna move Fry back for a start. Because I wanna keep a track of what's going on up there. Yeah, we've still got that guy. We've got forty five percent chance to take out two sectoids. That is good. So, I'm going to say that first. There we go, two sectoids down. Makes up for that 50, 50, uh, two 50 50s I missed earlier. Right. So, we do want to keep an eye on this Muton. But I could take a 60% chance and take him out now. And Brienne is expendable because she's only just come into the fray. Yeah, she's going to have to take this. Oh, not good. Negative damage. Okay. So if we just stick uh, everyone else on Overwatch. That was not what I meant to do with that person, but let's carry on. And the floaters return. Ah, nice. Sniper gets a shot. Go on, hit it, Sullivan. Hit it. Oh, that's what we like. Beautiful shot.
and that's the end of their turn. Just that floater left. Go on, you got to hit it this time, Brian. That's what we like. All right. I want to get Sullivan in a better position now. If I move it to here, then I can see a lot more. I can see down this way as well as down this way. And what do we have left? I don't think we've seen anything else so far, but I don't want to take the risk. So let's just slowly advance up. Enemy spotted. Here we go. Sectoys, just a couple. Hope they're not too bad. Get everyone in position. We've slowly been sneaking up. I'll just show you what I've been doing with my sniper whilst I've been creeping with everyone else. Just moved her across because I knew there was nobody else down that side. So now I've got a free shot at these two up here. Which we're going to start off taking. 75%. Go for that. There we go. All that setup's good. Got me in the right position with uh, with my sniper. And we got any decent shots with these two? 48 and 50. Mm. Yeah. I might just hunker down, get a better position, see what the sectoid does. Let's do that. And hopefully my sniper can get another free shot. Which I have. But I can't take it, apparently. That is weird. I just took that shot a minute ago. Hmm. What's happened there? Let's see if we move somebody. If she can then take the shot. Oh! Overwatch. I didn't know. That obviously Overwatch hardly moved. That was lucky. Now let's see if the sniper can take the shot. Yeah, now we can. Go on. And down. Oh, I'm finished. Nice. No, I don't think I took a single hit of damage in that one. So, yeah, very good. Very pleased with that. And let's head back to base. Oh, panic. Yeah, I'm going to lose quite a few countries this month. You'll see when we get around to it anyway. I only have two satellites to put up and a lot of countries in panic. Uh, we're just going to try and have to salvage what we've got, really. An exemplary performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly nice. as possible. Nice, uh, yeah. Jordan Sullivan's got promotion and Phil Dunphy's got one as well. So, go pretty well. Uh, Jim Halpert had a pretty bad one. Didn't kill anyone. Neither did Brian of Tarth. Oh well. Oh, Brian and Tarth got one. Anyway, we'll get around to those processes next time. We'll have a look at the dire situation in the situation room. Uh, but until next time, I'll be seeing you.